Ever wonder what the difference is between annealed and centered mesh? Well, in this video, we'll go over exactly that in precise detail and maybe just a little bit more. So stick around. Hi, my name is Eric Himes, and I'm here to ask the question, should I use annealed or centered mesh? And are they even different? Well, with over 150 years of experience working with woven wire mesh, WS Tyler takes pride in having the know-how to help you make the best decisions for your process. So to do that, we'll go over why you should treat woven wire mesh, the difference between annealing and centering, when you should use each process, and how each process is executed. When wire mesh is initially woven, it doesn't go through any form of heat treatment. It's because there's dozens of applications that call for non-treated mesh. By nature, the wires that make up the mesh weave want to hold their original, straight form. So for applications that do need a specific shape, you're going to want to heat treat them. This is where annealing and centering happen. Annealing is the heat treatment process that works to make the wires in the weave softer and malleable. During this process, the roll of mesh is exposed to a crazy amount of pressure and heat, but not nearly enough heat that would melt the mesh. So basically, annealing mesh reduces the internal stress and hardness of the weave, making it easier to form. Centering takes the annealing process a step further. When you're centering, the mesh is put under a stupid amount of pressure while being superheated to just below its melting point. What this does is bond the individual wires in the mesh at each intersection, which preserves the pore size of the mesh. So within the centering and annealing process, the mesh can be fabricated using one of two methods, batch or continuous. During the batch treatment process, rolls of woven wire are loaded into a furnace one or more at a time. It has the best quantity capabilities, but it's less controllable. The batch process will work best if you're working with a coarser mesh or you need a full roll width of 48 to 60 inches. The continuous process gives the operator more control. During the treatment method, a single roll of woven wire is unrolled, ran through the furnace or oven, and then re-rolled once annealed or centered. Since it's not as harsh on the woven wire, the continuous process will be better fit if you're working with a finer mesh specification or if you need a roll width that's 24 inches or less. Annealing your mesh ensures that the wires retain their shape. So in most cases, that's all you'll need when you're forming woven wire. A great example of annealed or woven wire is when you're manufacturing pulp or fiber molding. That's when you anneal mesh into custom moldings to create various containers, such as egg cartons. Centering is typically used to stop the wires within the weave from moving or falling out. It's absolutely perfect for filtration like oil, which relies on retention of the mesh pore size to filter out any unwanted debris. Centering is also a great solution for bonding multiple layers together, like in our pore star filters, and also multiple layers of mesh to be perforated plate. It can also be used to bond a single layer as well. Because the processes are so closely related, centering and annealing basically share the same disadvantages, but obviously there's additional processing times and expenses with both of them. So, for example, if you order a roll of woven wire without it being centered or annealed, you'd have that roll at your facility in say about a week and only pay for the cost of that roll. But if you look at the same roll of wire mesh and you got it centered or annealed, there'd be an additional cost for the treatment process and the time for it to arrive to your facility would be about a few weeks. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link below in the description and if you'd like to learn more about woven wire mesh and our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And 
Don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Eric Himes, and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.